So y'all are trying to tell me that the Bronchiosaurus and the Stegosaurus and all these supposed massive beings and pterodactyls and all these things existed, but the trees didn't match that and the mushrooms and things like that, they didn't match the size of these supposed things. I mean, I don't believe in, in dinosaurs really anyway. I'm just saying that, that, that how can you believe on one hand that there was beings that were that big, but the trees and things weren't also matching that, matching the size. Now look at this, this is all tree stumps. All that right there, it's all tree stumps. You're looking at tree stumps off, off, the, off the ridge there. It's nice in the fall out here. Really is. This is Kings Canyon for for y'all that don't know. There go some tree stumps for y'all. This whole thing. This whole thing out here. Look, see we're going up, we're going up a stump right now. It's all stumps right here. It's all root systems that we're going up. And you think that you think that it's crazy to call these trees shrubs? These are shrubs. These aren't these are not trees. These are shrubs that are growing on the decaying matter of the root systems right now. These are all reforested. All this. You can look at pictures from the 1800s with California and the West Coast. The whole, I mean the Americas in general, Europe, all of it, all of it. They logged it all. The colonists, parasites logged it all. You can, and you know, for firewood too. But yeah, colonists though. Colonies, that's how parasites live. So yeah, this is the area. Just a little something while I ramble for y'all. While my phone is, I don't know how much space it got, but just think of that though. Like you really think, like you really do think though that, that, that there could be a being, there could have been beings that big as dinosaurs and that this could have sustained them. So you're saying that like, uh, what, some type of ice age or something happened, right? All these type of things happen. Either way, there will be remnants of massive trees and stuff. And that's what the mountains are. However you wanna cut it. If we can find remnants of their bones, we would find remnants of their food and the things that also existed in their time. So, yeah, I mean, that's just that, man. I'm just still going after the straw man argument that dinosaurs even exist to begin with. Or, you know, but you could still look at things before they got poached. Rhinos and all these things. It is really nice out here, though, when the leaves start changing. I really do like it, though. But, yeah, rhinos and all that type of stuff, they were way bigger than they are now, you know, because they, they all got poached at. All the biggest ones got poached, you know. It's like the bigger you are, the harder you fall type thing. Like, it's, you're going to, you're definitely, definitely going to be a bigger target the bigger you are. So, you're going to be attacked before others. And you're going to be sought after as far as like bones or whatever, like memorabilia. So, um, yeah. Yeah, just think about that. Think that, that there are plenty of beings now they're all just a small version of their ancestors same thing with people like when like when the atmosphere or the water changes for a uh, for a jellyfish it begins to shrink it's the same thing it's the same thing with all beings he all in the middle of the road all anything anything but uh and i'm the one on the phone but um yeah man do you really think that this isn't really one of the dopest spots? I love coming up here, man. This drive really never gets old for me. Like, it's it's so I notice like the back of my hand, it's like a trance too. Just driving is like a trance, because it's something I don't even, I don't even really gotta think about. I could just listen to whatever or listen to the silence, whatever. This is King's Canyon for y'all. Or a piece of it, because it's it's still so much more land over there. It's still it's a big area. So yeah, I'm trying to get to this one area. Hopefully my phone don't cut off for y'all. I got to make the video longer and more appealing length so people will think I'm talking about more than I really am. You know, so that they can, because the clickbait is real. 
you know how it is. The video lengths and the titles, that really draws everybody. Everybody's all looking for the next drug, the next jaw dropping thing. Like, like one of these views that's about to come up. We're gonna get a good view of these uh of these tree stumps in a second as I get around this bend. Tree stumps. All tree stumps. Look at me coming up this route. 